M-A-C-D-O-N-A-L-D-S. McDonald's. M-A-C-A-R-T-H-U-R. MacArthur. M-A-C-H-I-N-E. H. McKine? <laughs> <laughs> So I have an amazing appetite and a passion for whiskey. I do. So the first story I'm going to bring you of the 52 American success stories is about whiskey. So I'm 40 years old. One of my greatest joys in life, one of them, is hanging out with my boys and having a little bit of whiskey. And I was intrigued by this story by the CEO and founder of Whistle Pig Rye Whiskey because he took a passion for what he had in life, which I so share in life, and created a company around that. So about three months ago, I had the most amazing opportunity to sit down with the CEO of Whistle Pig Rye Whiskey, Raj Peter Bakta. I had no idea what I was getting into. But he had this amazing passion for whiskey and he created a business out of it. And it's so exciting to share his story because he had so many peaks and valleys, but they had a vision, they had a passion, they went after it. Here we are, 2017, this guy's crushing it, his business is crushing it. I love him, I love what he's about and I'm about to show you everything about him or maybe just a little bit and what it's like to be a real, a true entrepreneur. And oh, by the way, I do love whiskey. Salo. Being an entrepreneur and being in business for yourself is the American dream, right? I mean, it's, it's certainly part of the American dream. It's a big part of the American dream. It has several key components. You know, one is a belief in yourself. Two, as I mentioned, it sort of helps if you're not really that employable because you have to do it yourself. It's, I'm not joking. <laughs> I believe the, it. The, the, you know, the third piece is, is you, have to, you have to connect. Here's the issue. Many people who want to become entrepreneurs or who are big thinkers, they don't necessarily connect very well with you know, making sure that the numbers meet, making sure you make money every day, right? You get a big idea, you're a big thinker, and then you don't think about, oh, you know, my dad gave me great advice. My dad came to this country in 1968 with very little money in his pocket, less than a hundred bucks. And, you know, he said, he said, you know, to me, like, beta, which is like, you know, a ter term of affection in, in, uh, in Gujarati. He goes, make sure whatever you do at the end of the day, if you put at least one more dollar in your pocket, you know, and so whatever you're doing, just make sure that you're not, and here's a big issue in business, try to make sure that, you know, what's truly the key to sustainability? The key to sustainability is profitability because the best way to make your thing self unsustainable that's is right. lose money every that's day. That's right. All right, here we go. League of the Flying Pig, what is it? Talk to me about it. It's the state of mind which thinks big and is fearless and is, uh, you know, hopeful and optimistic uh, while being realistic about the challenge. But it's that piece of us that we have when we're 12, mm -hmm. you know, or 13, when, you're, when, the, when the world is out there in front of you, or 18, wherever it is, you know, people who stay older. But bottom line, it's keeping that, that, that bravado and that dream alive. Because as I said, the world can grind you down. Yeah. The, the world can make you forget your dreams. The, 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 the League of the Flying Pig is about saying, screw that, I'm gonna think big, I'm gonna act big, I'm gonna be motivated by big thoughts, 
and I'm gonna fly. That's the Raj versus everybody. That's the get after it, man. I mean, you've had some you know, pitfalls in your life where you pick yourself up, you look out on the field, and you say, you know what? No one's going to tell me I can't do this. I can't win, right? I can't succeed. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, this is a, yeah. there's a correlation there between the two. I mean, I think it's, I think it's amazing. I'm going to end it with this before we have an amazing drink of what is this now? What do we have here? This, this is, is the Boss Hog, baby. This is the this is the good stuff. This is this, this is, is the good stuff. Your is, dad, you is, can't drink out of this. Is, this cabinet. is the ultimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we're going to talk. We're going to talk. About it. Here's the question. All right, you 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 know I love this because I eat this stuff up, right? I love. I'm an entrepreneur. I sit with entrepreneurs, and it's, it's it literally is my passion. It's why I'm doing it. You're 40 years old. We're the same age, right? I was born in 1976. I turned 40 just recently. Here's here's the question. You've worn a lot of hats, you've done a lot of things. Here you are at 40 years old and you're growing this brand and, and it's amazing. Have you found your passion? Because I know I, I'm finding my passion right now by sitting with you and 52 other CEOs of organizations, which I'm gonna do over the course of the next year. Have you found your passion? Have I found my passion? Yeah. You know, uh, I've, I've absolutely found my passion. So what is my, my, my passion? I love whiskey. I mean, too much maybe. <laughs> I love the idea of making, you know, products that, that come off the farm. I mean, really yeah. connecting the bounty of the land to an economic uh, opportunity. <laughs> but, you know, what I, what I really really get a get get a get a drive out of it and a lot of people say this but i think there are a lot of people bullshitting the the what i really get a a tremendous lift from is the thing that i was talking about earlier it's like getting other people going you know into into business whether you have an extra 10 million bucks or 5 million bucks or even like the happiness they say doesn't go it starts declining after a family income of $180,000 absolutely the the so it's not that it's 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 you know finding a core drive which is if we can if we can be even as flawed as we are mm -hmm. we all are yeah. if we can be a bit of an inspiration to others and provide some tools for other people to get into achieving their dreams uh, and the achievement of dreams that is sort of like the ultimate to be creators yep. uh, on, the, on the planet, then I think that's the highest and best use of any human being. It's the core drive of what I'm trying to do. I think we need to show more of you. Let's have a drink of this. Tell me what we're drinking so here. So this is, this is Boss Hog. And by the way, the topper, so a little bit of the war pig. He's got a sword, you know. You got and, that? And he's by a cannon. And uh, you can hear the Battle Hymn of the Republic playing in the background. The waft of smoke over the I field. I would have expected nothing less from a man who went over the Mexican border. With the mariachi band. With a mariachi band. On an elephant. On, an, on a friggin' elephant. So, this uh, is... basically, Boss Hog, only 30 barrels, 14 years old, finished in hogshead barrels, which are uh, large scotch barrels, okay. biggest butts in the business. All right. Um, <laughs> and our most limited release, I mean, literally 30 barrels is uh, five, 6,000 bottles, which is tiny. Um, it's our best stuff. We put aside some of them every year. We haven't had a Boss Hog release for two years. So this combines sort of the best elements of rye with uh, a little bit of the smoky uh, flavor that you get from a scotch. It's something extraordinary. Salud. Salud. Oh. Fireworks, right? It's unreal. Fireworks. It's unreal. This is amazing. Hey. It was so good. I really so enjoyed good it. So good to meet you. So good to meet you. We'll be in touch, obviously. I love yeah, it. Yeah, you got to come up to the farm. Oh, I'm, are you kidding me? I'm coming up in like two weeks. If you want to see more, you want to watch that full-length interview with Raj, check me out at MikeLuzio.com. Follow me on Instagram, at Michael Luzio. Check out my Facebook page, Luzio versus Everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're just getting started. It's the beginning, baby. Making it happen. Definitely almost hit that post, by the way. Did I? How close? Really close. But that, I didn't. That brick post. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't hit the post. Oh, Christ. That's exactly what I'm doing.